Yes, you read the title right. In this video, we tested the MACD strategy on 31 currency pairs. There are plenty of videos on YouTube on the MACD strategy, but there have the following in common. 1. The focus is on a single currency pair. 2. The backtest is applied on one time frame 3. The backtest ends on 100 trades. We wanted to improve this by doing the backtest on multiple currency pairs. Also, do the backtest on three time frames and focus on more than 100 trades. To accomplish the backtesting, we used Python and the backtesting library. The link to the code is available in the description below. We will not discuss the code here. But if you have any questions about the code, you can leave a comment below. A quick recap on what is the MACD indicator and the MACD strategy we tested. The moving average convergence divergence indicator is one of the most popular indicators used in trading today. It has been around since the late 1970s after being developed by Gerald Appel. The indicator provides the strength, direction, and momentum of the currency pair. The MACD indicator has three components. 1. The MACD line 2. The signal line 3. Histogram. The MACD line is the difference between the fast EMA and the slow EMA. When the difference is above zero, this means that the fast EMA is above the slow EMA. Conversely, when the line is below zero, the fast EMA value is lower than the slow EMA. The signal line is the exponential moving average of the MACD line. The histogram component shows the relationship between the MACD and signal lines. The histogram will cross the zero line when the signal line crosses the MACD line. The buy signal of the MACD strategy we tested is as follows. The MACD line must cross above the MACD signal line. Both the MACD and signal lines must be below zero. The close must be above the 200 EMA. The sell signal of the MACD strategy is as follows. The MACD line must cross below the MACD signal line. Both the MACD and signal lines must be above zero. The close must be below the 200 EMA. We used a 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio when considering our stop loss and take profit levels. Here is the list of currency pairs that were tested. There are 31 currency pairs. We tested the strategy on three different time frames for each of the currency pairs, namely 1, 30 minutes, 2, 1 hour, and 3, 4 hour time frame. In the 4 hour time frame, no currency pair had more than 100 trades. To have confidence in a backtest, you need to have at least 100 trades. We do not show those results here. Overall, here are the top five currency pairs with the highest win rates. The MACD strategy has relatively high win rates for the AUD currency pairs, specifically for the 30-minute time frame. The AUD CAD at the 30-minute time frame had the highest win rate overall. The ranking for the major pairs was as follows. To wrap up, the MACD strategy seems to show promise for AUD currency pairs in the 30-minute time frame. There is still some work to be done to see if it can be a profitable strategy. For other currency pairs, you best move on and look for another strategy. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Thank you for watching.